Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. If you are a subscriber, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Without you guys, my channel wouldn't grow and I'd be going nowhere. If you are new to the channel, welcome. I hope you find what I do here interesting or informational or educational or at least, if none of those, at least entertaining. I hope you enjoy what, what you see here. So that being said, very quick video today. I just want to jump into a problem that I've been... Uh, informed of on some of my comments and that is with my color scheme um, I am working on a new color scheme the one that I've created that I've been using apparently isn't very reader friendly when I'm uh, on camera so I apologize for that because well if you guys can't read what I'm doing you're probably switching away from my video and if you're switching away from that video you're probably not watching my other videos and if you're not watching my other videos then you're not subscribing and then the whole world's falling apart <laughs> So hopefully that uh, this problem will be resolved with this solution I've come up with. So let's go ahead and open a terminal. We are going to clear the screen. We are going to zoom in. And we are going to vim into my dot config slash vim slash dot vim rc. And so as you can see here, this is a different color than I normally have. And this is what's called the Nord color scheme. Um, I like the Nord color scheme. It's pretty mellow. It's some blues and some grays and some whites and stuff. So it's, it's a really nice color scheme. Um, and hopefully it's a little easier to read on camera than my other color scheme was. So that being said, this isn't the only change. Let's go ahead and open another terminal. Let's go ahead and use my mod space, which is going to change my layout because I'm in Herb's Luft, and we're going to do max. But if I hit my mod tab, that'll cycle through, and you can see both windows are still open. But let's clear this screen. Let's zoom in, and now let's open my dot local slash scripts slash windows dot sh and oh what do we have here we have groove box why do we have nord on one window and groove box on another window well fancy you should ask let's go take a look if we hit my mod tab key which will cycle back through to the other window open on this um, and we scroll down here you can see i have these six lines right here what those do is auto command buff enter whenever I open vim it's going to check the buffer entering that I'm entering and it's going to look for what files open if it doesn't see any file type or any file type that's not listed down here it is going to open it in the color scheme of Jake <clears throat> which is my personal color scheme that nobody likes um, <coughs> excuse me but auto command buff enter if it enters that buffer and it sees it is a dot RC file like this one right here my dot vim RC it is going to open in the color scheme Nord. This will work on .vimrc, .zshrc, .conkyrc. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Um, so any .rc file, it will open up in this Nord color scheme. If it sees that the buffer is entering a .html file, it will open back up in that color scheme of Jake, which you might think the color scheme Jake is ugly, but the person right in front of you, that you can't see because I'm not on camera. I'm just too beautiful to actually put on screen. That's why I'm not on there. But uh, <laughs> you might not like the color scheme, but uh, you might get too too fond of me. <laughs> I'm just I'm just kidding. Sorry, sorry. I'm I'm getting way off track here. <laughs> sorry about that. Anyway, that being said, um, if it enters the buffer and it sees a .sh file extension, it's going to open it in the color scheme groove box like we have right here. And if it sees a .css, it's going to enter in Nord. If it sees .py, it's going to enter in Jelly Beans. So, as you can see, Windows.sh, it opens in Groovebox. .vimrc opens in Nord. You can have as many different color schemes here as you'd like with as many different file types as you'd like. This is just a real easy way to kind of, one, help me out with you guys watching the videos and being able to see the color scheme a little easier, and two, just kind of make things a little more interesting uh, when you're when you're doing some coding and stuff. If you have a couple buffers open, um, you can tell just by looking at the color scheme what type of file it's working on. It's easier. Things don't get as confusing, but yeah. That being said, you can see again, nord.vimrc, groovebox.windows, or excuse me, windows.sh. <clears throat> so that .sh color scheme, or that .sh extension is the groovebox color scheme. That being said, this is the script that I wrote the other day. Um, a little bit extended from what you saw in the last video. There is more to come on this in the next couple days. I am adding some functionality and some features. So just please go ahead and stay tuned. Um, I think it's going to be a pretty useful, uh, pretty cool script that I think uh, a lot of people are going to get some use out of. So that being said, you can see here it went from uh, about three lines of uh, very basic to... Um, about 25 lines of still very basic, but a lot more functionality. So yeah, hopefully you found uh, this interesting. Hopefully you guys can get some use out of those auto commands in the uh, .vimrc file and maybe put that to use and kind of pretty th some things up a little bit when you're doing some coding. So that being said, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Uh, love you all. God bless.